<laughs> Volkswagen's translation to English means folk car or people's car. And the company did what its name said, make cars for people for everyday use. So in this video, you will learn what Kraft der Bredra, how Germany got out of the Great Depression, who Ferdinand Porsche is, the Beatle impact to the world, Volkswagen's past, and the German economy. Before 1933, Germany was suffering from the hit of the Great Depression. However, this reduced the amount of foreign trade. Just after the Great Depression started, 10 years later, Hitler would come into power in 1933. Hitler wanted Deutschland to be at world power. He thought he could show the world Nazism through the thriving economy and engineering. The Nazis set up multiple tools to strengthen the German economy by giving work to the middle class, Hitler's youth and craft. That Sorry, though, you just have to excuse my friend Liam. He's on to speak German. It's actually pronounced as Car du Freude. Hitler also wanted a car for the common person, like in America, like the Model T. Because the only people who owned a car in Germany were the rich people. And if Germany was going into war, people would need to get around. And all the car manufacturers was luxury, and most of its civil cars was important. One out of 50 people in 1930 would own a car. Hitler would need to find an engineer who could create a cheap civil car. So Hitler proposed that any German company who would win the Grand Prix in 1934 would win 250,000... Uh, Tony, you say this one. Flash marks. Yeah, that one. Which is around 145,000 USD. And the winner of the Grand Prix was Ferdinand Porsche. Ferdinand Porsche was born in northern west of Austria-Hungary, now called the Czech Republic. From a young age, Ferdinand showed talent in mechanics. When he was a teenager, he built the world's first front-wheel drive. And earlier in his career, Ferdinand made race cars, aircraft engines, and even created his first hybrid car. But Ferdinand's real passion was a civil car for the middle class. He saw that cars were too tall and not aerodynamic enough. He took his idea around the major car manufacturers in Europe, but he was rejected from all of them. And he even got an offer from Joseph Stalin to build a civil car, but rejected it because of language barrier. So Ferdinand decided to create his own company for his dream, and this was around the same time that Hitler came into power. Ferdinand had the same vision as Hitler to create a car for the middle class. But here Porsche won the contract for Hitler to build three prototypes in the Grand Prix. The three prototypes were designed for civil use on the Autobahn, which was a freeway. The one design that stood out was Ferdinand's Beetle, which was originally called that. The craft you said this part, was another Nazi party program to bring leisure activities to the middle class. By making them affordable day activities like films, concert holidays, day trips, and one of the new leisures was owning a car. On the 28th of May 1937 in Wolfsburg, the Volkswagen first factory was built and ready for small scale production. And it had an order of 300,000 cars, but could only deliver just over 210 before World War II started. 1st of September 1939, the Nazis invaded Poland and World War II officially began. and all of Germany was working on their war effort. Volkswagen stopped production on the Beetle, instead started making military vehicles, such as an upgrade Beetle called Yeah. <laughs> and a completely new design. How about you just say this part, because this... Alright, uh, I just say the biggest part. Yeah. And a completely new design. Kurvenwagen. And an amphibious variant called the... Schwimmenwagen. <laughs> it's going to sound so funny. The two cars were well designed and loved by the German army and towards the end of the war people would try to trade two jeeps for a Kubenwagen because it was smoother and better handled. In the mid-war, Porsche was tasked to design tanks but performed poorly by making the Tiger P. Holy shit! 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 Hol
holy Jesus. What is that? And the base of the tank was later converted to tank destroyer, which still performed poorly because of Ferdinand's new transmission design. Here we go, post war. After the war, Volkswagen de Nazi rise and his forces was in prison for working for the Nazis in France. After his release, the airport returned to where he spent most of his time, on the manufacturing floor of listening to what the workers had to say. At this time, just after the war, Germany was begging for work, and as their economy was in ruins, this is where Ivan Hurst, a British commander, came into play and took control of a Volkswagen factory and started mass production for the Beetle and gave work to middle class. In 1948, Air Porsche had drifted away from the Volkswagen after his vision of an affordable civil car was satisfied when Ivan took control. And Air Porsche started a new project which became the Porsche brand. In 1950, Air Porsche took a tour of the Volkswagen factory and his vision finally came true. A year later, Air Porsche died. From 1970, Volkswagen has been a part of modern day pop culture and a household name. For their Beetle was known for being reliable and tough and a peace movement. Done. That should be a hell of a lot more shorter. Oh my god, that's like. Hello, I'm Siren, and I'm a digital human.